This video will prove, a call for an uprising is a fake Christian, a wolf in sheep's clothing, an antichrist. A call for an uprising has made a deal with Satan, on the island of Patmos, for his demonic success. A call for an uprising contradicts the word of God. A call for an uprising is self-contradictory, his father is the father of lies. A call for an uprising admits he is demon-oppressed. A call for an uprising is a son of the Martin Luther of Rome, accusing Israel day and night. A call for an uprising is violently abusive, against God's people. A call for an uprising spreads false news, and false reports, to incite Jew hatred, and to spread the fear of Satan. And I never even expected to give my testimony because I'm very humble, I'm very humble, I'm very humble. A truly humble person is not even aware of their humility. I want to give you my testimony so that you understand where I'm coming from. You understand that the Holy Spirit is with me and that you understand that my passion and my love of Jesus Christ is my life and it's all that I am. And my voice out there. A Christian testimony is to glorify God. But a call for an uprising's testimony is all about me, my, and me again. <laughs> with me, my passion, my love, my love, my life, all that I am. I know you could just come on YouTube and make a channel preaching the gospel. I understand that. But that was never my calling. The calling of a call for an uprising is to preach false news and false reports, to incite Jew hatred, and to spread the fear of Satan. My fire was too hot. I wanted to go after these people. It bothered me. It angered me so much that our brothers and sisters betrayed our father like this. I wanted to go after these people. It bothered me. It angered me so much that our brothers and sisters betrayed our father like this. Throughout his testimony, a call for an uprising never identifies who his father is. From the context of his testimony, we know his father is Satan, the father of lies, the accuser of Israel. I was born with the Spirit. I was born with Jesus Christ with me. I was born with the Spirit. I was born with Jesus Christ with me. The scriptures testify that John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Spirit from his mother's womb. Who are the witnesses for a call for an uprising's claim? King David says this about his birth. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. All I wanted to do was figure out how to help people and bring people to God. I stood up for myself. All I wanted to do was figure out how to help people and bring people to God. I stood up for myself. You know, I always was there for people. I was a good person. I'm very humble. I was a good person. The Apostle Paul says this about himself. I am the worst of all sinners. I didn't really fit in. People would come up to me and feel drawn to me and ask me about, Jesus, who is he? What are the scriptures? What is the message? What... Why am I seeing some signs? People would come up to me who would see signs of the devil, and they'd ask me. And I had no idea how they even knew that I would have an answer for it, because I didn't go around preaching it. But I guess they saw the Holy Spirit in me. But I guess they saw the Holy Spirit in me. But I guess they saw the Holy Spirit in me. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. Jesus said, Unbelievers could not see the Holy Spirit, but unbelievers saw the Holy Spirit in a call for an uprising. Smell something fishy yet? My faith has always been on fire, and that's part of the problem I've had through life, because it never cooled off. I never had time where I was just calm and cool. It was everything would fire me up. All of this stuff would just keep me fired up, that these people, these Satanists were, were doing this, and they were spitting in the face of our Father. I never had time where I was just calm and cool. It, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. A call for an uprising does not have the peace of Christ. He is a fake Christian with a fake faith. I spent time at the monastery. I spent time in the cave of the apocalypse, in John's cave, where he had the vision of Revelation. Did a call for an uprising receive Illuminati training in that satanic monastery? Places like Patmos are there where you can see that John was there. John lived there. He was exiled there, and he had his vision of revelation there. And you could feel the spirit strong on that island. 
And I felt a presence there. And at first I thought maybe it was God's presence and it wasn't his presence. I felt Satan's presence there on that road. And I felt a presence there. And at first I thought maybe it was God's presence and it wasn't his presence. I felt Satan's presence there on that road during that storm right there with me. Satan's presence there on that road during that storm right there with me, pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. So a call for an uprising did not meet God in the island of the Apostle John, but he met Satan, who gave him 100,000 subscribers in less than six months. I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out, and so I sold my soul to the devil. And so I sold my soul to the devil. And so I sold my soul to the devil. You cannot be a pop star if you refuse Satan's offer. All these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. That's what Satan was doing to me. That's what he had been doing to me for 10 years. He had been bothering me for 10 years. I just didn't know he was there. I didn't know that he was the reason that I was doubting myself, not doubting our father, doubting myself and saying, how can I do this? I didn't realize that it was him who was doing it to me. Why is the spirit filled to call for an uprising so spiritually stupid? He had been holding me down my entire life. He had been holding me down my entire life. I was born with the Spirit. I was born with Jesus Christ with me. The Spirit has always been with me. It's never left. So Satan has been oppressing a call for an uprising, who was born with the Holy Spirit and with Jesus Christ. He was born of God protects him, and the evil one does not touch him. And I'm sure you'll see people do videos exposing me on YouTube because that's what people do when channels get successful. That's how they set the world up. You can learn how they set this stuff up. The protocols of the elders of Zion, right? They're all under the false umbrella of Zionism. That's how they set the world up. You can learn how they set this stuff up. The protocols of the elders of Zion, right? They're all under the false umbrella of Zionism. Exposing the Satanist elitists who run the world, the Illuminati, the Zionists, the Zionists, the Zionists. Zionism is the righteous cause of God who chose the unworthy Zion to be his throne. Zionism started when Abraham was called to live to Canaan. Zionism will be fully accomplished. When the greatest Zionist Jesus Christ returns and rules over all the earth from Zion. Therefore, a call for an uprising is an Antichrist channel. Because who do you think it is that controls and runs everything? Who do you think the elitists really are? They're fake Jews. They're Satanists. And that's what you're going to learn because they sit here cloaked and pretend to be Zionists and Jewish people and they're Satanists. They are not a part of any Jewish bloodline and they never have been. They adopted Judaism because it was their last chance to survive. They are a Khazarian tribe. What is a Jew? Are Jews genetically pure or are Jews converts from other faiths? Author John Entine investigated that very question in his book, Abraham's Children, Race, Identity, and the DNA of the Chosen People. Many Jews uh, for a long time had been told, um, based on books like Arthur Kessler's The Thirteenth Tribe, that Jews, uh, Ashkenazi Jews, are really converts. That uh, almost all Ashkenazi Jews were once part of a uh, uh, empire in uh, what is now Russia called the Khazarian Empire that existed between the 7th and the 10th century. But as genetic science has developed since Mr. Kessler wrote his book, the evidence points the other way, suggesting that Jews are Jews by DNA. On the male line, about 75 to 80 percent of males uh, do have Middle Eastern ancestry. On the female side, 50 percent of females uh, do not have Middle Eastern ancestry, 50 percent. Why do we find such a marked difference between male and female lines? It looks like many um, Jewish males from Rome, from different parts of the world, came uh, to settle in, um, in areas that were either pagan or Christian. They took on local wives. The Holocaust, I mean Holocaust, the Holocaust, I mean Holocaust. A call for an uprising is mocking the six million deaths of the Jews.
from whom, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is God over all, blessed forever. To them belong the patriarchs, and from their race, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is God over all, blessed forever. Amen. If you're Jewish and you follow the Talmud, and you think I'm a Gentile, guess what? You're a scumbag. You're a scumbag. And I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my people. So extremely zealous was I for the traditions of my fathers. See? A call for an uprising is calling the Apostle Paul a scumbag. A call for an uprising also blasphemes the Star of David, the symbol of Jesus Christ. As 666, the Star of David symbolizes the Messiah Jesus Christ. Where is he who has been born King of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. If you're Jewish and you follow the Talmud, and you think I'm a Gentile, guess what? You're a scumbag. And come tell me that to my face. I'll pray for you, all right? I'll pray for you, but try to do something about it. We'll see how peaceful I am, or other Christians are, because we will take up a sword. Not a knife, not a sharp blade. We'll see how peaceful I am. We will take up a sword. Not a knife, not a sharp blade. We'll see how peaceful I am. For all who take the sword will perish by the sword. For all who take the sword will perish by the sword. A call for an uprising is inciting Martin Luther's violent Jew hatred, which is the hatred against Jesus Christ. Tomorrow and tonight being 777. So at the very least, if no event goes on, just remember that it's spiritual warfare that we have to worry about most. Pray privately to yourself. Pray for protection for people out there. A call for an uprising is a fear monger, spreading the fear of Satan, not the fear of God. Do not call conspiracy all that this people calls conspiracy, and do not fear what they fear, nor be in dread. But the Lord of hosts, him you shall honor as holy. Let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. Today's show I want to talk about more ridiculous nonsense, which could be the ushering in of Project Bluebeam in September of this year. The ushering in of Project Bluebeam in September of this year. The ushering in of Project Bluebeam in September of this year. Such false news certainly entertain goats and wolves, and certainly helps create fear and chaos. Thus the Jesuitical mind control of goats and wolves is achieved through their motto, Order Out of Chaos. According to Revelation chapter 9, this will not happen, until the angel blows the sixth trumpet, when one third of mankind is killed, by two hundred million demonic horses which they call aliens. There's a lot of signs pointing towards a possible false flag Donald Trump assassination that would lead us into World War III. And a fake assassination attempt is the perfect way to roll in World War III. Now, if something like this does happen, and it's going to happen, something is going to happen. They have something planned for 2016. A call for an uprising is playing the cards of politics for his boss, the Jesuits. To sum up, a call for an uprising is a fake Christian, a wolf in sheep's clothing, an antichrist. A call for an uprising has made a deal with Satan, on the island of Patmos, for his demonic success. A call for an uprising contradicts the word of God. A call for an uprising is self-contradictory, his father is the father of lies. A call for an uprising admits he is demon-oppressed. A call for an uprising is a son of the Martin Luther of Rome, accusing Israel day and night. A call for an uprising is violently abusive, against God's people. A call for an uprising spreads false news, and false reports, to incite Jew hatred, and to spread the fear of Satan. Stay away from him. Stay away from him.